Well, good morning. Happy Easter Monday. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. What a glorious celebration. A uh, great way to start our week. And I'm going to begin a new series today that I'm calling The Bible Says. Now, when somebody comes into my office and starts their conversation with, well, pastor, the Bible says, I get a little nervous because the Bible says many things. And some of those things can be taken out of context. Well, one of the things that a lot of people think the Bible says that it actually doesn't is this. God helps those who help themselves. Good luck finding that in the Bible. You won't. In fact, it's based on an ancient Greek proverb that the gods, plural, help those who help themselves. Taken from ancient times. Uh, and of course, the, the message is that you need to be diligent. The message is that as you are working hard, uh, you will prosper. And, and there's a lot of places in the Bible where that's talked about. Like, for instance, one of those places is in the book of Proverbs. And one of the things that we read there in uh, chapter 12, verse 24, is this. The hand of the diligent will rule, while the lazy will be put, put to forced labor. You know, I, I remember hearing somewhere, and I don't know the source of this quote, but somebody once said that we should pray as if everything depends on God and work as if everything depends on us. Now, that's kind of in the same line with God helps those who help themselves. But we have to be careful, right? Because we believe as Christians that God is our source. Uh, whether good things happen or bad things happen, whether we succeed, whether we fail, God is there for us. God loves us. Um, and yet, one of the reasons we work is to take care of the people around us, to express God's love for them. So listen to this uh, from 1 Timothy chapter 5. And this is verse 8. Paul writes to Timothy, Whoever does not provide for relatives, and especially for family members, has denied the faith, and is worse than an unbeliever. So yes, you and I are to work. We're to do the very best that we can. Uh, but at the same time, we also know that uh, our success, our life doesn't ultimately depend on us. That God will be with us whether we succeed, whether we fail. Uh, we may try and have our hearts in the right place and things just don't work out. Um, there's a reason for that. God is working a good plan in us. So let's pray on this Easter Monday. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the resurrection of your Son. We thank you, Lord, that it's no longer about us trying to save ourselves, but instead, Lord, it's about celebrating what your Son has done to save us. Lord, bless us on this Easter Monday. Give us joy. Watch over us. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you, and have a great week.